Hey, what up, Rock Fam? We're just going to go ahead and uh, cut open some rocks today. Might not show you all of them, but I want to show you some of them. We got this guy here that uh, I f think might be a nice size coal water agate. Not 100, but we'll see. You kind of see why I feel like it might be. Since it doesn't seem to go all the way through, like that crystal structure, that weird banding that we got there, I think I'm just going to cut it right down the center here and kind of see what we find. Alright, so, <laughs> change of plans. Or past me, weird Jasper. I'm going to cut him in half, we're going to try to go down the center. All right, let's see what this guy got going. Oh, see what this guy got going on. All kinds of weird jaspery patches. It's kind of uh, abbreviated. Oh, oh shit! Wow, that's neat. That is beautiful as hell. That um, is really, really gorgeous. You have to make some wow. jewelry out of this or something. That'll make a nice cabochon. Yeah, well, we definitely gotta gotta cap that up. That's really pretty. I like that. That's really pretty. All right. <laughs> Next one we're going to cut is this weird guy here. And I think we're just going to go right on into the zoom to about the zoom to the zoom. Like that. It's about halfway cut just by my fingers. Really soft. Be right back. <laughs> I think I fingered a rock just not on camera. Yeah. I don't know if I'm even going to pay for that. see what kind of secret she's hiding all right this guy here he was actually was soft and I know I joked about it but he was pretty a pretty soft rock Bam! Ooh. Ooh. I really like those lines that's neat with those veins in there yeah like those like amazing like fractures it's like yeah it's fractures. so weird how it's yeah, yeah different ways it's not they're not very linear by any means some of them are not many of them though probably tumble that guy see what happens He's churdy and he's got some weird iron stained veins. Yeah, iron going through his veins. <laughs> Next guy we're gonna cut up. Weird. Quartzy. Hematite. Jasper. Quartzy. <laughs> Chonky. Chonky. Chonky quartzy. Kind of look like a turtle shell in a way. I don't know. I'm gonna see what's inside. I'm just gonna go right down the middle, I think. We're just gonna down this side actually. Through the through the court or the through the jaspus. Through the jaspus. Quick cut. Yeah, that was a hell of a quick cut. Let's see what we got hiding inside. <laughs> All right, <laughs> see what this guy has inside. All that crazy Jasper, quartzy stuff. Bam! Oh, lots of quartzy stuff. It's pretty quartzy lots stuff. Of quartzy. I thought that red would go all the way through. I, but was, I guess not. Eh? Yeah, I was kind of hoping the red would go all the way through. Yeah. It's really pretty though. It'll, this is another thing that might tumble nicely. This hematite here might tumble out, but it's not that deep, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I like it. She's pretty. She pretty pretty. Alright, next one we got up here. Super quartzy, kind of felsparry, chert, churty, quartzy, felsparry stuff. I don't know how to explain it. Oh. Straight through. Probably, yeah. Straight through. Think so? Yeah. 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 Three through. We're just gonna cut her in half. Right through. See what happens. All right. Let's see what this guy's hiding. All right. Let's see here. We got this guy. This his churdy, quartzy thing. What we got going on? Bow. Ooh, that's pretty. That pretty. That's pretty. I like that. That'll make a nice cabochon as well. Yes, that would be nice cabbed up. I like it. I like it. It's definitely an interesting rock. I had a lot of good ones today. This brain, this is a, a yeah. this is a, a kind of felspar. I can't remember what it was. I was watching a video on this. It's actually felspar and quartz that uh, dries together. Really freaking pretty. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut it in half this way. It's that way we can tumble them both. We can tumble both chunks and they probably turn out really nice. Because that big thing right there, if we tried to tumble it, it would be horrible. Yep. 
And if we did that, then we can cut out, see what's inside, plus tumble it. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Phil Spark! <laughs> Alright, see what kind of secret she's hiding inside. Alright, see what this Phil Sparry goodness guy got inside here. Whoop, supposed to be this way. Don't mind that. Oh, shit, that's cool. I like that. Some tourmaline in it. Yeah, it's got some tourmaline inside with that fell spar and quartz. That's going to be really pretty tumbled. Yeah, it is. And then, and best of all, we got rid of that little tiny yeah. freaking crack there, so now it's going to tumble good. This back part might need a little some something, something, but you know, other than that, she'll, she'll be a good tumbler. We'll make sure we be putting her through soon. All right. Next guy, we're going to go ahead and chippity chop up into Chinese chicken pieces. This guy, he look churdy, he look quartzy, he look kind of cool. We're not sure what he is. We're about to find out though. Let's open him up. I think we're going to go right down the middle on this one too. Because that's the way to go today. Alright. Kind of surprised this guy got inside. Alright, so we got this guy here. Looks churdy. Looks churdy. I think this was really, really hard to cut through too. This was a pain in the ass to cut. Bow! Ooh, she pretty, pretty though. I like the difference in size. Like I almost would want to make this just a, a pennant as is. Tumble it and then drill a hole through it or something maybe. Yeah. This size is kind of big to be a pennant. Both of them are kind of big to be a pennant, to be honest. But after they're tumbled, maybe. Because we'll be smaller. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely tumble these guys up too. I really like the separation with all the epidote and the quartz. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Like, that's really pretty. I like that. Next one we're gonna cut. Give me this unikite guy here. I think we're just gonna go straight from front to back. Go through all of those little epidote veins. Alright. Unikite time. Alright. Let's see what side have this unikite be hiding inside. Bam! Oh shit! That's pretty. Unikites are always pretty, but that's just really nice. That's that's gonna look really cool tumbled too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, those would be really, really pretty. Someone would be happy with those. Some weird little dent there. I like that, though. Didn't like disappoint? Different colors of greens in there. Yeah, yeah. You got, like, the darker green, the lighter green. Mm, yeah. It's like an epidote and a... Shit. Pre-night? Pre-night. <laughs> All right. That was definitely a winner. All right, next. We got this guy here. He's a chonky, quartzy... Conglomerate, epidote, felspary thing. That's the best I can give it. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut it right down. Ooh, that face. Roar, I'm a rock <laughs> monster. Roar, rock monster. I thought I'd keep his face intact now. Ooh, I'm gonna go down this way so I can keep the face intact. I'm gonna go. I wasn't gonna go that way, but I kind of like the rock face. <laughs> yeah, and you got a nose and everything. Dobby, 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 Dobby. I preserved his face nicely. <laughs> it's our Halloween rock, I think. All right, let's see what he's hiding inside. Special Halloween rock. Let's see what's hiding behind that face. Bow. Ooh. Ooh! More faces. More faces, yeah. It's like a triangle right there. It is. In the middle. It is. I'm gonna take this mask off because that's silly. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like the face side the most though. Rawr. Rock monster thing. I like him. He's a rock monster. Alright. I got another one to cut here. This one I expect, suspect, to be a cold water agate. Can't really see on the camera as much, but there's some kind of bandy stuff going on there. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut her open. Let's see what we find. All right. Let's see what's inside. Let's see what we have here. Bow. Oh, definitely an agate. Most definitely, most definitely, most definitely an agate. They got agate stuff going on all up in there. It's kind of a. Uh, an LSA slash coal water though. Definitely pretty. I like it. Second agate today. Alright. I do a little bit of a voiceover on this here. 
Um, yes, Alexa brought me my, my uh, macro lens, apparently. Um, this is the agate that we just cut. There's lots of like little fortification banding. A lot of the bands are white. Um, um, you can see the different fortification, and it's really actually a pretty rock. It's not agatized all the way through. Let's cut open this rock. Might be our you know, last one. We'll see what kind of secret surprises you got inside. A couple little druzy pockets of stuff. I think I'm just going to follow suit with all this and just cut it right through the, here again. Right down the middle. Right down the middle. That's how we do today in this down the middle special. All right. See what secrets they got hiding. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on with this guy here. Churdy, very churdy, churdy. Another hard one to cut. Yeah, had the they had the little druzy pockets. Bam. Oh, actually, well that's weird because that is not. Oh, that's kind of a little bit concave on this side. This side is not. That's flat. That's that's filled in. Hmm. Another couple little filled in spots. It's weird. Very wah, churdy. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Wah wah wah. This actually, I think this is the the dud for the day. Dud for this the day. This is the dud for the day. Dud day. I think I'm just gonna cut it right down the center here and kind of see what we find because I uh, want to make sure I, I get some kind of good stuff. Who knows? Might slice it into a bunch of chunks. We'll find out. There's all kinds of different little crystal type patterns and some kind of bandy shit. Let me see over here. So yeah, let's cut her in half. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Recording? I am. Hey, what's <laughs> inside? Okay, take this goofy mask off. Let's see, boom. Oh, oh, shit. That is fucking beautiful. That is definitely beautiful. Does it make it an agate? I would say yes. I would say that definitely makes it an agate because uh, those bands go all the way through. They do. They do. I think I cut it the right way too. Yeah. I definitely think I cut it the right way. I, I'd want to say that's definitely a cold water egg. That piece right there is really exceptional. What do you think, Rock Fam? Yeah. Is this cold water egg? Let us know what you think. You got a little pocket or something here. Let me get some. Just a little bit of host There's rock or something there. Yeah, a little host rock or something there. But yeah, what do you think? Egg? I think it's an egg of sorts. All right, let's take a little closer look, and I'll try to explain to you what I believe this is. Um, Greg, the geologist, said that this is a pseudomorph, and essentially a pseudomorph is when um, a mineral, in this case, it looks like there was crystals in there. I think it's bromine or something like that. It might have been one of the more likely ones. I can't remember in my research, but this was essentially um, the crystals were replaced by quartz, um, which does make this... Uh, you know, a pseudomorph agate. Um, I really like that little red dot there. But if you look, it actually has phantom crystals in it. So as you see, like one of the crystals, you can actually see how it has layers. And this is where like minerals have replaced the crystal over time. And as it did, it made these different colored layers. So you can actually kind of see the phantom crystalline a little bit there towards the top. Um, right here towards the end, you can definitely see the phantom crystalline. I like that little piece of red in there. I don't know what it is. Anybody else that knows, definitely chime in. All right, all right Rock Fam. Fun day uh, cutting open weird Lake Superior finds. Uh, all these rocks were stuff that we found around Lake Superior. Um, most definitely dis didn't disappoint. We had we had our one chirp failure, our chirp dud, if you will. Da, da, da. But other than that, all around, good little day of rock cutting. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you like and subscribe, follow, swipe right, thumbs up, um, comment, and I can't think of nothing else cool to do. Quick edit. I was questioning what I was wanting to go ahead and say. Go to our Etsy shop. Links in the bio. Yes, and all my links is there too, but go to our Etsy shop. <laughs> yeah, just enjoy your day. Peace out, Rock Peace Fam. Out. <laughs>